Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about peritactic reactions. So generally, peritactic reactions that would be occurs at higher temperature and low weight percentage of carbon. So into peritactic reactions, liquid phase plus one of the solid phase that will be converting into solid two. So by the cooling actions that will be such kind of reaction it would be take place. And by the heating, once again that solid it will be converting into a liquid plus solid. But peritactic reactions that will be occurs at the specific weight percentage of compositions like it will be occurs at 0.18 percentage of carbon and a temperature range around 1493 degree centigrade. So in simple way for iron carbon diagrams at 1493 degree centigrade with 0.18 percentage of carbon our liquid plus one of the solid phase that will be converting into the new solids. So just you can see the symbolic representation of these things liquid plus one of the solid that will be transforming into the new solid and that will be S2. So these reactions that will be the first to a general reaction of peritactics. So in that in simple way liquid plus solid it will be converting into new solids. Now let's take a reactions for a iron carbon diagram. So let us see. So just you can see in case of the iron carbon diagram. So liquid at 0.53 percentage of carbon plus one of the solids. So that will be at higher temperature for the maximum enrichment of the iron. So it forms a delta iron solid phase. So around 0.1 percentage of carbon. So this liquid plus delta irons that will be considering as a solid one. So that will be cool down or you can say solidified. So under the cooling actions around 1493 degree centigrade and 0.18 percentage of carbon. So that will be converting into new solid phase. So this will be considering as a new solid phase and that will be gamma iron or you can say austenite phase. So basically austenite phase that will be forms at a higher temperatures or you can say just below of 1493 degree centigrade which is a soft phase of the into the iron carbon diagram. So that delta iron that will be the 0.18 percentage of carbon. So these reactions it will be take place into the iron carbon diagrams. So basically it will be occurs at a higher temperature with low weight percentage of carbon. So for the peritactic reactions liquid plus solids that will be the delta irons it will be solidified into the new solids. So this temperature it will be known as a peritactic temperature. And these compositions it will be known as a peritactic compositions. So now we will see the phase transformations at a peritactic reactions with respect to the iron carbon diagram. So let's see. So for the peritactic reactions so just you can see that will be x axis it will be considering as a weight percentage of carbon and y axis that will be representation as a temperature in degree centigrade. Now according to the maximum liquid that will be up to the 0.53 percent. So let's take a one point that will be for the peritactic reactions it will be considering as a 0.53 percentage of carbon and according to the peritactic temperature. So just you can make a one point so that will be the representation as a peritectic temperature. So 1493 degree centigrade. So at this 
1493 degree centigrade it will be making a one horizontal line so after making one horizontal line from the peritectic temperature line just you can make the different points so first starting with the liquid that will be having a 0.53 percentage of carbon so that will be the point 0.53 percentage of carbon then delta iron so that will be around 0.1 percent so just you can make a point that will be indication as a 0.1 percentage of carbon now another important points that will be 0.18 percentage of carbon so that will be nothing but compositions of the peritactic so 0.18 percentage of carbon now according to the solubility of delta phase at a temperature range so maximum temperature range for the iron carbon diagram that will be around 1539 and delta iron that would be generally found or you can say delta iron that will be having a solubility from 1539 degree centigrade to 1393 degree centigrade 1393 degree centigrade and a weight percentage of carbon that will be maximum up to the point 1 so this points so just you can join this temperature line to the point 1 percentage of carbon to the second temperature line so that would be the range like 1539 degree centigrade to 1393 degree centigrade or up to the point 1 percentage of the carbon so that will be having a 100 percent solubility to form a single solid phase that will be known as a delta phase just you can see so for this regions it will be the only formation of delta iron that will be the single phase now just you can see the maximum carbon that will be 0.53 percentage for the liquid so just you can make a maximum temperature line to the maximum composition line for the peritactic reactions so just you can see such kind of lines so this line is known as a liquidus line so according to the liquidus line theory all the above portion of this diagram it will be the formation of 100% liquid for any compositions of carbon and irons so once it will be transformations it will be from these points so that will be known as a peritectic point why peritectic points so basically in the case of the peritectic points it generally found at 1493 degree centigrade of the temperature and it would be around 0.18 percentage of carbon so this point is known as a peritectic point and the transformation which is passes through the peritectic points so this will be known as a peritectic reaction so just you can see these transformations so just you can see above this liquidus lines it will be the formation of the liquids and maximum solubility of the delta irons up to the certain temperature range with respect to its weight percentage of carbon so it forms the in only single solids so in between here it will be the 100% liquid and here it will be the 100% solid as a delta irons so in between it forms liquid plus delta iron so just you can see above the peritectic temperature line and in between the liquidus lines it forms liquid plus solid phase so in general case that will be the liquid plus s1 as we already discussing into the peritectic reactions so in case of the iron carbon diagram this s1 it will be act as a delta ions so basically delta ions which is found at a higher temperature so this transformation line which is passing through the peritectic points so it will be the formation of new solid so that will be the gamma iron so just you can join this temperature line 1393 to the peritectic point like this so just you can see at above the peritectic temperature line it will be the liquid plus solid one that will be the delta ions and once it will be 
passing through the peritactic point so it will be the formation of gamma iron or you can say gamma austenite so this reactions that will be liquid plus delta iron that will be converting into gamma austenite so that will be the new solid phase so that will be known as a peritactic reactions now we were discussing with the microstructure at a peritactic reactions so for better understanding of the microstructure for the peritactic reaction just you can make a one vertical line which will be passing through the peritactic point just you can see and takes a various points onto this transformation line so here it will be the point a second point which is intersecting at a liquidus line so that will be the point number b then at a peritactic point so that will be c point and just below the peritactic temperature line so that will be the point d now i would like to draw a microstructural view for a point number a so at point a just you can see that will be above the liquidus lines so according to the liquidus line theory it only forms 100% liquid phase so in that case maximum percentage of iron that will be present because here it will be the only 18 percentage of carbon is being present so for peritactic reactions that will be 0.18 percentage of carbon is being present so just you can see so that will be the formation of 100 percent of liquid of iron and carbon now i would like to draw a microstructure for point b so at point b that will be on to the intersecting on to the liquidus lines so once it will be touched the liquidus lines so that will be the starting point of solidification process and here that will be the enrichment of the iron that will be higher percentage because only the 18 percentage of carbon is being present so rest of the others that will be from iron so that irons it will be participation for generation of a nuclei so just you can see for the making a nuclei and that will be from the irons so these irons it will be converting into the solid tiny particles so that will be the new phase of the solids which is formed from the iron so that will be known as a delta phase so just you can write down like this so delta iron so that will be considering as a solid one and rest of the other iron that will be also in the form of the liquid at point b and all the carbons that will be into the liquid phase so here it will be the formation of liquid plus solid one so that solid one it will be act as a delta iron so at point b that will be the starting point of the solidifications in the form of delta irons or you can say nuclei and that will be from iron now i am interested to draw a microstructure at peritactic point so basically peritactic point that will be the constant temperature solidification process so this liquid plus delta irons or you can say solid ones that will be converting into the new solids so just you can see the microstructure to formation of austenite so after the peritactic point or you can say at your peritactic points all the liquid plus solid that will be converting into the new solids so just you can see at point c so just you can see the microstructural view that will be the 100% solids but it will be the new solids and that will be act as a gamma phase or you can say gamma iron or you can say in simple way austenite so this gamma it will be representation as a austenite phase at the just below the peritactic line so that will be the products of or you can say transformation of liquid plus delta into the iron so which is a soft phase at a higher temperature from carbon and iron so in general way of the understanding of the peritactic reactions it will be look like this so what liquid plus solid 
at which temperature 1493 degree centigrade and 0.18 percentage of carbon so this liquid plus solid so this solid it will be act as a delta iron into into converting into new solid so that will be the new solid act as a gamma oste night phase so this is all regarding for the peritactic reactions i hope you understand this so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching